So today, in our session, we'll talk about three important things. First, we'll discuss why this PSIR. And the second important thing, which I believe is one of the most important thing, which has to be discussed, that is how you prepare PSIR or any optional along with your John studies. This time management is a very important thing because in one year you have to prepare your journal studies as well as are optional. So how much time you should give for your optional subject and how one should adjust it with journal studies and we'll talk about one more thing ki how come PSIR and your journal studies can go hand in hand. What should be the strategy hand in hand. This is very important aspect and third, we'll talk about how one can score 300 plus specifically in changing times. Because if you see uh, question paper, trains of question paper, that is changing. So what should be our strategy for this? Let's start with this part only. Ki why PSIR? PSIR, why padna? choose First important thing, if you go with the data of last three years, if I start from, uh, I mean, new data of UPSC is not available, but if you talk about 16, 17, and 18, in all these three years, maximum selection is with one subject, and that is PSIR. Every year, around 115, 117, 121, 127, this much of selection, the total seat ranging from 800 to 900. So look at the number of selection, it is very high. Second important thing I would say is basically mark. If you see marks range, in general, average marks range in a subject, is, I mean in PSIR, is around 230 to 250. But there are number of students who are scoring 300 plus. And if I name few of my students, like uh, Rasa Mandal who got 58 rank, but his score in political science was 325. There was Asif, he scored 327. There was score 329, 319. I mean, numerous numbers. So the average score is around 350. But there is a space to score 300 plus and it can be easily achievable. This is not something that you need to make a lot of effort, but you need to be strategized. That is the important thing. I mean, this is not like okay, in any other subject a student don't score 300. What I am saying, a lot of students can score 300 plus. This is what exactly I am trying to say here. So this is, marks range is very much and third important thing, if you check it with your journal studies paper, then lot of convergence between political science and journal studies. Uh, I'll simply say, when you look to the GS paper 2, in GS paper 2, when it come to polity part, when it come to IR part, it is completely in convergence with political science. I mean, those who prepare for uh, political science, they normally don't go for GSIR section because they, they prepare in a very extensive way in your own optional. For GS mains, I mean, polity mains, this PSIR is enough. Even in GS paper one also, in GS paper one also, few topics of modern history, Then ideologies, like you can find communism, socialism, that has been given in paper one. This is exactly men mentioned in paper, uh, I mean PSIR paper one, ideologies ka ek topic hai pura. And in GS paper one also you can find the same topic of the ideology. So, even 
for some geography part also i'll mention some questions like uh, two years back there was a one question in general studies paper one uh, importance of south china sea for india when you study southeast asia when we study china automatically we go for studying south china sea there are numerous question in geography which is related to the applied part you also get in ir section basically so my point is in paper 2 100% coverage is there in gs paper 1 also around 20 to 25% of the coverage you can find out in paper 3 in paper 3 internal security internal security there is a topic of border management and when you study don't studies i mean when you study psir paper 2 you are going to study india border with nepal india border with bangladesh india border with pakistan how we manage those border what are the major challenges on those border you are going to get it in a simple way when we study about afghanistan or when we try to understand the drug trafficking across i mean crossing india then golden crescent golden triangle references are there this is also related to internal security part naxalism is there basic ideological inference that come from uh, uh, psir only my point is in paper 3 when it come to the paper 4 in paper 4 when you study thinkers plato aristotle their ethical dimension i guess 3 years back they had a question and few students were confused ki this is a question of psir or this is a question of uh, ethics they asked the question rawls theory ethical dimension of rawls theory of justice in our psir also in paper 1 we discuss rawls theory of justice so you can find many thinkers what you are going to study in political science specifically i would mention plato is there aristotle is there few concepts like rights equality justice this is all going to be very useful in your gs paper 4 apart from that we are just waiting ki when they are going to ask this question last to last year please check paper 4 ethics paper and there were question on international ethics there is a topic in your ethics paper the name of the topic is ethical dimension of international relations and international institution i repeat ethical dimension of international relations and international institutions so if one think of psir he can easily find a wide coverage in general studies apart from the other thing i was talking about marks but again as i said that if you are looking to opt psir but how you can adjust it adjust it with the gs so the benefit can be taken that is the most important thing and now we are going to discuss that part basically now the second part what i was talking about ki how your gs and optional how your gs and optional should go first important thing one should understand in general studies four paper 250 marks normally time devoted for jan studies if you take this time 10 months to 12 months now allotted marks for optional is 500 is 500 it's like two jan studies paper it's like two jan studies paper so the maximum allotted time for your optional should be 5 to 6 month
this balance strategy is a very important factor otherwise normally what happens suppose you are targeting 2024 and you are not able to finish your optional class within six months then automatically you are going to be transferred for 2025 because you won't be able to completely focused on because when we are doing GS when you are doing optional and if it is the same time then maximum focus of the students remain on their optional subject now imagine if the optional goes seven eight months or more than that then for all those months your focus on general studies are going to be drastically reduced which automatically put you behind in the competition for the prelims and mains on that year so this time balancing for your optional subject and general studies is one of the most and I believe one of the key area which is generally ignored by the student it is generally ignored by the student they think of that okay, GS optional dono kar rahe jab aap dono kar rahe ho aap imagine karo 6 hours ki class hai ek dhar ghanta ane jane mein jata hai aapka how much time you are going to get to spend for the preparation of GS and uh, your optional subject after the class technically hardly 2-3 hours and then you choose to focus more on optional less on GS and your optional continue for 8 months then how much time you are going to get for the general studies even if you are going to the class and not studying not solving paper then it is a waste so this balance is very much important if your general studies class is of 10 to 12 months then your optional has to be completed within 6 months so at least you should have a complete six month which you can devote, dedicate to your general studies. Otherwise, you already put yourself in the next cycle. Apne aapko, or ek saal, matlab, when you go into the next cycle and you just focus started focusing in, in your general studies part, then your optional thing started eroding from your mind. Then again, you come into the circle. This balance is one of the key which is generally ignored by the student so this is the first thing I would like to suggest to the student they must and this input output model se bhi samaj lo but ye 500 ka hai and if you are providing 8 months 6 months to this and ye 1000 marks ka hai and you are providing 10 months to 12 months you can check it you are giving much more time to the optional and you are getting less marks over there so that is why it is much important that you should finish it in the time look guys from many of the years I have observed those who qualify UPSC it is not only because of knowledge knowledge plays an important role but strategy their discipline and understanding our balance approach and preparation is one of the most important thing what they do basically it's they study the same book what any of the student study but they manage it properly they they understand ki, okay this is the time for GS this is the time for optional when we should more focus on optional when we should less focus on optional this calculation is very much important when they should go for answer writing when they should go for prelims practice for this you should have a proper strategy and plan and in this plan the first and the most important thing is that the time allotted to your general studies should be for the six month and for your sorry for optional should be six month and for your general studies it should go 10 to 12 months this is one of the most important thing now I'll talk about specifically in context of PSIR when it come to GS and when it come to PSIR in general those who are doing their optional they uh, PSIR optional they will have here specifically I'll talk about we have our notes our booklets 
now suppose in general studies you are studying paper 1 in general studies you are you are studying paper 1 and maybe in psir you are in the western political thought then you always have the option basically the converged area whatever the convergence is there you can study it together you can study it together converged area you can study it together normally it will mutually reinforce each other suppose i'm just giving one example in in western political thought we are studying about socialism communism at the same time in in Soci sociology also is studying, I mean, social issues also are studying the same thing, or in paper one also you are studying the same thing. So now you can compare, you can add on, and you can understand, ki, okay, this is from the optional perspective, this is from the general studies perspective. Then it will be a mutually reinforcing, both will help each other to consolidate. In a similar way, when you are studying general studies too try to check your notes with the PSIR you will be able to differentiate ki, okay basic ye hai isme ye add hota hai so the same thing you are going to study two times one in general studies one in optional but whenever you are studying you are checking each other's areas I mean like when you are studying general studies you are checking in PSIR when you are checking PSIR you are seeing okay what is in general studies what are the last year questions in general studies that will consolidate normally humko ye lagta hai ki okay if you have taken PSIR so automatically it will help in general studies I would say that you need to strategize it then only it is going to help in general studies it's not going to help you automatically strategize karna bohut zyada zaruri hai let's take another example suppose you are studying international relations in your psir so you are completely aware ki at least four to five questions in studies they ask so you can see the last year general studies question also as well as optional question also you can ask your teacher ki what should be the approach for for optional what should be the approach for the gs part basically and while preparing the studies part also you can refer your notes so technically with the PSIR notes also you are going to get a lot of things from the IR section Aap PSIR ka note ke dekh lo, reinforce kar dega wapas mein. point is this point is this if there is a convergence you need to create a study bridge between both then only they are going to be connected and they are going to help you out you can ask to the teachers, ki, okay, when you're studying uh, justice, ask teacher what is the ethical dimension of this one. When you're studying about international organization, what is the ethical dimension of it? It is automatically going to help in general studies 4. Got my point? This convergence has to be, this convergence has to be utilized, capitalized, then it is going to work a lot. Third important factor when it comes to general studies and your optional part basically okay, from where you have to stop your optional and from where you have to be completely focused on general studies part. This is the key basically. Normally when I mean like if you are planning for 2024 my suggestion is that last three months last three months should be completely dedicated to last three months should be completely dedicated to your John studies in any way you cannot take the risk if you're taking the risk again you yourself decided to move into 2025 basically and during rest of the period during rest of the period as I said it is just of the six month suppose somebody has joined it early in May or June they automatically going to get lot of time for general studies because the course is going to get end in six months suppose 
somebody go for September or October of their optional. So during this period, during this period for the learner studies part, they should be completely focused, go along with the practice because you should know that ki six months you have to give to your optional subject. So suppose somebody is joining in September or October. So before this, your journal studies part should be properly focused and properly prepared. And then again, the last three months. Then the again, last three months. And in between, the six months should be dedicated to your optional. The best time, what I believe for your optional classes, May, June, July, August, September max. After September, it become tough. So if anyone is thinking ki after September one should go, then before half of the journal studies has to be on tip, has to be properly prepared and practice. Otherwise, you are forcing yourself, yourself in the next cycle of 2025. This adjustment is very important. Normally, we ignore such adjustments. I discussed a lot of students, they say, ki, Sir, journal studies ki bhi class chal rahi hai, optional ki bhi class chal rahi hai, how to manage it. And everyone is aware. When last three, four months for the journal studies is there, so there is more focus on journal studies inside the class also and for you also. Then the impact is that your, journal, your optional is going to suffer. That is why my suggestion is plan it properly and place it. And in any condition to the optional, one should not devote more than six months for the classes. This is very clear. And if someone complete their optional subject by September, October, then what should be their strategies? That's simple. Then they should be completely focused on GS and within week, they should go for the answer writing for their optional subject. That is the best way. Week in the sense, in one week you have decided only one thinker I'm going to cover. Only Plato or only Aristotle or Justice Theory or something, just one topic that is easily doable in one week. Imagine, till January, till February, this is how you are connected with your optional and it is not going to be burden on you. But that is possible when you properly strategize and adjust your optional subject as well as your journal studies. Otherwise, it is not going to be. Fine? Now, I'll switch to the third part. I'll switch to the third part. How one can score 300 plus? How? Yes. Let me finish once and then I'll take the questions. Now, when we talk about how we can optimize our score 300 plus, so very basic thing one has to study, the structure of the slavers. Uh, we are going into technical details, so be focused. Everyone is aware there is a PSIR paper 1, and there is a paper two. Paper one is having segment of Western political thinkers Indian political thinker and political theory part. This is three important part in PSIR paper one. And in paper two, which is basically related to international relations, in which IR theories, international organizations bilateral and multilateral relations kuch kuch aur bhi cheeze hain iske sath judi hoti hain 
Now, first important thing, if you check out from last five to six years, those who are scoring 300 plus, maximum people are scoring 160 plus in IR section. Without this section scoring 160 plus, reaching 300 is next to impossible. This much score has to be there and that is possible only in this part. If I remember few of my students, as I was talking about this Reserve Mandal who scored 325, in paper 2 his score was 172. This is just not only one name. There is a 44th ranker, she scored in paper 2, 171. There is a one guy, his rank was below, he was into the service because of PSIR paper 2 only. Score was 169. There is a regular, in, in fact there is a one of my student, uh, he scored 300 in political science and 165 was in paper 2 basically. So his paper 2 is relatively easy to score. I am saying relatively easy to score, but you should have an understanding of the subject. And it is very limited also. This is very interesting part. In IR section, if, if this, somebody have this notion in for IR paper 2 part basically, B section, in international relation, one has to study India relation with 20, 30 or 50 countries, answer is no. I'll identify 10 countries and all the questions are coming from only those 10 countries. Isko itne simple tarike samajhe. The focal point of Indian foreign policy is very much connected with the relevancy of the question what UPSC asks. If we are into NAM 2.0 or if we are into Indo-Pacific policy, if we are talking about this uh, 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 West Asia, so UPSC is going to be focused around it. I guess last time in general studies they had a question of uh, uh, this uh, 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 this Middle East Quad at that time, they asked it I to you to um, uh, question that was, it's not about being current because it was the focal point of Indian foreign policy. If somebody is able to understand ki what is the shift in the Indian foreign policy, what are the current focal point, they'll be easily going to get. And one more thing, you should understand the nature of the Indian foreign policy towards the country, towards the content, towards the continent, so you'll be able to prepare in, in that direction. Just make a short example. When is India Africa? So in India Africa, you need not to prepare India relationship with South Africa, India relationship with the Egypt, or bilateral relationships you need not to prepare. That is always going to be India, Africa, maybe energy security, maybe import export, or maybe uh, uh, capacity building Indian programs in Africa. Why it is so? Because the Indian in Indian foreign policy, Africa emerge as Africa emerge as a part of India's multilateral approach rather than bilateral approach. But when it comes to South Asia. It's not only you have to prepare India and South Asia. You need to be bilateral. And even here you need to be focused on any event that is happening in the country. Suppose in Pakistan, if economic crisis is there, then there is a chance ki how it is going to impact India. India should get help, India should go to help Pakistan or not. I will compare two Check out the transcript of this year for many interviews. They had a question on this one. Ki okay, in the crisis of Pakistan, what should be the Indian approach? But at the same time, there is a crisis going on in many African part, but there is no such question. The reason being is that ki crisis our approach to uh, uh, Africa, our, our approach to Afghanistan and our approach to Pakistan is different. And if you are able to differentiate, you will be able to catch it basically. In case of West Asia, take another example. In case of West Asia, there are numerous countries, but we can easily predict India, Iran, India, Israel, <coughs> India, Saudi Arabia, maybe 
if some more important thing is in news like some organization last time i to you to that's all there is no need to prepare india tunisia relationship or with the other countries my point is ki this area is very limited area in terms of bilateral relationship it is hardly 10 to 12 countries we have to study even there could be prediction ki in which dimension they are going to ask i'll just take one example if we talk about india japan relationship in 90s more focus between india and japan was on trade on economics then we move to political cooperation now we are into strategic and defense cooperation so if they are going to ask question i I'll, i'll take a timeline from 2017 to 2022 or 25 between india and japan most of the questions are going to be focused around strategic relationship defense relationship china factor us movement in the region that is going to be the area where they are going to place or drop your question so if you understand ki changing nature of the indian foreign policy what is priority area of the indian foreign policy here you can predict. this is very limited section but here your understanding this entire paper is based on understanding of the foreign policy without understanding of the foreign policy it is impossible to score in that area second updated one this is another reason few people ignore it kyunki hamesha updated padhna padega wo to aapko waise bhi current affairs ke liye padhna hai so if you can update it and you have a good understanding there is a high chance and let me tell you guys interview chal rahe hain upsc ki see any transcript none of the interview get completed without four to five question on international relations matlab ek single interview aapko nahi milega jahan pe ye sawal nahi pucha gaya ho imagine without having a deep and good understanding how one can answer in less than 50 second aapko agar aapse pucha jaye what is india's take in russian ukrainian war please answer it point wise and you have time of 10 15 seconds maybe 30 seconds without having a good understanding one cannot answer this is one of the major benefit of understanding main fir se keh raha hu aap check kar lijiye ek single transcript aapko agar ir ke sawal ke bina mil jaye and uh, because lot of students regularly ask so many questions before going to the interview or interview ke baad bhi ki sir iska kya jawab dena tha like economic crisis in pakistan should india intervene in pakistani affairs should india offer economic assistance to pakistan pakistan or not to whom we should talk should we talk to the military or deep state of pakistan or should we talk to the government of pakistan such question they ask how you are going to answer this without understanding this without understanding our our deep understanding i would say so this is going to help you there so scoring in this is easy but completely based on understanding you need to strategize it properly one can score over here now here also i make a strategy basically ki when it come to uh, uh, paper a part i mean paper 2 a part and paper 2 uh, b part so one should go for three questions from section b and two questions from section a even there are a lot of details in even in section a also you can find questions related to ir theories related to ir basic concepts basic concepts like jaise main ek example de de raha hu balance of power system jaise ki uh, what is national power what is transnational actor 
ये बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट है आपका सिलेबस का पार्ट भी दिया हुआ आपको मिल जाएगा बेसिकली और ये आई आर थीरीज में रियलिज्म लिबरलिज्म एंड सो ऑन सो इफ यू स्ट्रेटेजाइज कि ये वाले पार्ट से हम ज्यादा करेंगे सवाल इफ यू कैन स्ट्रेटेजाइज कि ओके नॉट ओनली फ्रॉम दिस मैं ये इस पर क्यों फोकस करने को कहता हूं बिकॉज इन वेन यू आर डीलिंग विथ रियलिज्म लुक एट द एग्जाम्पल्स वॉट यू कैन गिव you can talk about the current situation between india and china you can talk about the current situation of india and pakistan this is a way of you know maximizing your knowledge what you have studied for b section that applied part you can properly use in all these sections while giving examples rather than i'll say go for a traditional question go for this type if you talking about balance of power system somebody can talk about the contemporary balance of power system this is a soft balance of power system is going on chota example is soft balance of power system matlab you continue to trade with the country you continue to cooperate with the country but still you try to balance militarily as well as economically very classic example india and china look at the highest trading country india or china ka aapas mein india ka sabse zyada trade china ke sath hi hai but we have a lot of issues with the chinese side lekin hard balancing jaise ki cold war mein hota tha there were two military groups nato was there warsaw pact was there we are not in the era of hard balancing we are in the era of soft balancing so if you are writing question and making it more contemporary your score is going to be very high matlab 170 koi bahut badi baat nahi hai if you connect it with all the right thing basically and as i said that yahan se three question karna hai isme bhi fix hai matlab this is fix ki okay here we have to attempt three question one question is going to be india's bilateral relationship with any of the south asian countries we are going to deal one question related to international organization one question to the basic indian foreign policy either they talk about determinants of the indian foreign policy or they talk about foreign policy making institutions role of parliament role of parliament or or any other institution they may ask basically so if you strategize it what i do normally in my class so if you strategize it properly the scoring is not a tough math you can score and one most important aspect balance time allotted for every and each section you know that in paper 1 and paper 2 if you are going for 3 months 6 months so it should be ideally like this or 6 month is a maximum time technically it should be 5 month if it taking 3 3 months maybe 10 plus 10 plus minus 15 days on both but if you are over focusing on this topic you are taking 4 months 5 months just on this one and finishing it on 1 months and 2 months check out most of the students who are preparing for the civil services taking political science as optional the maximum time they give for their preparation to paper 1 or paper 1 may be section 1 this take 60 to 70% of the time dhyan se agar aap dekhe to is charo paper mein let's say like this if you talk about paper a paper 1 paper 2 section a section b iska bhi 125 marks hota hai iska bhi 125 iska bhi 125 aur iska bhi 125 then why you are focusing here only or output aana nahi hai utna because my reason aapko bata raha hu if you uh, find out most of the videos if you find out university syllabus or if you find out relatively where understanding is required this is the part so a misunderstanding has created that the political science means paper 1 section 1 if you're good in that igp hum lakshmikant se kar lenge ir hum gs se cover kar lenge it's a bad strategy ir se gs ka aap ir cover kar lenge psir se <laughs> gs ke ir se aap psir nahi cover kar sakte wo deftness kabhi nahi aa sakti hai that is why 
because maximum focus is there. So this strategy has gone rogue, I would say. It's not bad, gone rogue. The reason being is that it's backfiring. People are not able to understand that you cannot prepare Indian government and politics just by studying Lakshmi Kant. You cannot prepare IR section just preparing your GS IRs. You need to prepare political science and both of the sections will be automatically prepared. You need to give more focus on that part. So when I am talking about 300, the first important thing you should understand, you have to invest, if not more, at least equal time to paper 2, if you compare to paper 1. This is one of the important aspects. Second important thing, you need to divide ki paper 1, sorry, section A or section B. Section A se teen question karenge, sorry, section B se teen question karenge or section A se do question karenge. Agar aap itna bhi strategize kar lete hai. And as I said, ki even this is predictable. Jaise when, uh, uh, Taliban captured Afghanistan. This was almost a fixed question. Ki what is going to be India's strategy to deal with the Taliban? That year they asked this question. Ye bahut predictability hoti hai. So if you follow the line of the Indian foreign policy and focal point of the Indian foreign policy towards the different regions, you know the challenges what India is finding towards the different country or the region, you can even trace the trajectory of the question. You have idea that this is going to come from this area. So what is the benefit of it? You are not going into the history. You are not studying what was between India and Afghanistan in 1979. You are focused. We should know the Indian challenges, Indian challenges to Indian foreign policy in Afghanistan. Five, what are the solutions for Indian foreign policy? What are the options India is having? Prepare and get the question. They are not going to ask ki, that was good or bad when India decided to uh, uh, support Russia in 1979 against the NATO. They won't ask this question. So the trajectory, ab jase West Asia hai. We know that ki West Asia is a core for India in terms of our energy security and now we are moving towards the defense sector. So now it is over there, so this question is fixed. They'll talk about either energy security, they'll talk about anti-terror cooperation, or they talk about China factor in there. This is the three, four fixed area. Uske bahar wo kuch nahi wale hai. So my point is this, it is very much predictable and it is in the line. But quality and depthness is equally important. IR is not set of events. IR is a policy or an understanding interacting with many factors and events. If you decided, okay, in West Asia, my national interest is energy security, then you'll find other competitors, you'll find uh, other countries, you'll find set of challenges and you need to, maybe infrastructural challenges, maybe because of the US sanctions over Iran, how to purchase oil from Iran. It is all predictable, ki this area. So for that is, you need to have a depth understanding. So IR ko agar ap event se jada samjhenge, to bhiyaan score karna bhoat aasaan ho jata hai. So I'll, I'll just summarize two, three things basically. First important thing, When it comes to paper 1 and paper 2, this point 1 is a equal time distribution. Point 2, high score in paper 2. Point three, prepare PSIR, paper two or IR, it will automatically loot, lead to G, GS. Don't reverse it. Don't go for the reverse part. 
कि जीएस से आई आर नहीं प्रिपेयर करना है द डायरेक्शन शुड बी पी एस आई आर टू जीएस पी एस आई आर टू जीएस एज आई सेट दैट लिमिटेड बट देर मस्ट बी डेफ्थ देर मस्ट बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग बेस प्रिपरेशन हियर From section A, two questions. From section B, three questions. From section B, three question. This is how one should target 170. So there is a high possibility of range of 150 plus. 150 plus. इसके बिना 300 नहीं पहुंचा जा सकता. When it come to PSIR one, here, as I said that, in this section A and this section B, ये तो ऐसा लगता है कि सौतेला है, एकदम step behaviour होता है IGP के साथ. People prepare IGP with Lakshmi Kant. They what they prepare in their journal studies, they go for this one. भाई इसके भी 125 नंबर ही होते हैं। You have to score. I mean there is a three question, two question, whatever. The number for this is 125. आप मैक्सिमम क्या कर सकते हो? दो क्वेश्चन करोगे, तीन नहीं करना चाहते हो। तो दो क्वेश्चन तो आपको यहाँ से करने ही करने हैं। You cannot ignore this part basically. और इसमें भी जो पहला क्वेश्चन होगा, जो मैंडेटरी माना जाता है, इसमें one to five questions रहेंगे। You cannot ignore this. कोई दूसरा क्वेश्चन भी करेंगे तो उसमें कम से कम तीन क्वेश्चन होंगे इसका तो आप कुछ नहीं कर सकते एंड दैट कैन नॉट बी एन इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट इसका जो सबसे इजी और इंटरेस्टिंग पोर्शन है वी डोंट प्रिपेयर मच फ्रॉम दैट पार्ट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट आई मीन आई वुड से नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट नॉट ओनली इंपॉर्टेंट बट इंटरेस्टिंग ऑल्सो दैट इज रिलेटेड टू पॉलिटिक्स पार्ट दैट इज रिलेटेड टू पॉलिटिक्स पार्ट इन पॉलिटिक्स पार्ट देर आर सर्टन टॉपिक्स लाइक कास्ट, रिलिजन, हियर वी स्टडी आल्सो सेक्युलरिज्म, देन यू कैन फाइंड आउट पार्टी सिस्टम, वी टॉक अबाउट कोलुशन गाव कोलुशन गवर्नमेंट, सोशल मूवमेंट एंड न्यू सोशल मूवमेंट ये सबसे सिंपल और ऐसा कोई नहीं होगा क्लास में कि जिसको इसके बारे में कुछ पता ना हो। If I say cast, अभी normal political analysis में आपको पता होता है कि which party has which social base। अगर आपसे technically ये कहा जाए, party A is having this social base। In this social base, what we are referring? We are referring to caste and religion only basically। And everybody know that who is having what type of base। I'm just giving the example, but we rarely go and study all these things in a systematic manner, little bit in technical way. And if you can do this, it is easy to score in comparison to this so-called that polity part by Lakshmi Kant, where I mean, all the polity section is there. Akhri ke char topic politics ke diye hai, sabse easy topic hai. Easy to, uska ek ek line, Matlab, once I'll deliver a lecture, or once you read an article on that, you will understand one line and it will be relatable. But it is ignored. And why is it ignored? We never keep and we never think it is strategizing it. We prepare it like a bird. When you try to strategize it, you will think, this is every year, take any year's paper, on the caste, religion, party system, social movement, there is a lot of questions. Every time is there. We do not know how to how we are going to write it. There is a women movement. There is a उसमें farmers movement का भी topic अभी farmers movement हुआ था वो भी एक social movement ही था. What is going on in Supreme Court? Same same sex marriage. LGBT पे social movement में एक सवाल already पूछा. अगली बार देखना आपको फिर मिलेगा. My point is this. This is the very easy area. हाँ. लेकिन ये इसकी अपनी एक language है और एक systematic way है preparation का. Random tarika nahi, but it won't take much time. But it is again one of the ignored section. If I'll divide 
you know when it come to this part 80% time people give to section a 20% time hardly go for b that is the disbalance कहां से नंबर आएगा ये तीन क्वेश्चन आपको कितने नंबर दिला देंगे अंटिल लेस यू आर फोकस्ड ऑन इट सो जस्ट सिंपल पॉइंट इज दैट गो फॉर अ बैलेंस स्ट्रेटेजी पेपर वन के लिए इफ यू कांट गिव इट इक्वल फिफ्टी परसेंट टाइम गिव एटलीस्ट फोर्टी परसेंट टाइम डिवाइड टॉपिक इसके तीन सेक्शन हैं पहला सेक्शन है मॉडर्न इंडिया का वे दे टॉक अबाउट स्ट्रेटजीज ऑफ द नेशनल मूवमेंट प्रोस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द नेशनल मूवमेंट विच हैज अ कन्वर्जेंस विद द मॉडर्न हिस्ट्री इफ समबडी स्टडिंग मॉडर्न हिस्ट्री एंड दिस पार्ट एक क्वेश्चन आपका यहां से आराम से प्रिपेयर हो जाता है सेकेंड सेक्शन है इसका कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन रिलेटेड इन विच वी टॉक अबाउट प्रेसिडेंट गवर्नमेंट गवर्नर लेजिस्लेचर जुडिशरी और थर्ड पार्ट है इसका पॉलिटिक्स रिलेटेड सेकेंड पार्ट जहां स्टडीज में आप पढ़ते हो मैं कहूंगा आप यहां पढ़ो जो स्टडीज वाला ऑटोमेटिक कवर होगा आपको और बहुत इन डेफ्थ कवर होगा बेसिकली अब आता है ये वाला पार्ट दिस पार्ट सो हियर माय सजेशन इज दैट कि देर शुड बी शिफ्ट इन योर फोकस ऑन दिस पार्ट ये समझना आपके लिए आसान भी है वी आई मीन वी आर रेडी टू गिव एटी टाइम टू अंडरस्टैंड वेस्टर्न पोलिटिकल थॉट पढ़ते क्या उसको रटने की कोशिश करते हैं वेस्टर्न पोलिटिकल था जब प्लेटो ने ये कहा अरिस्टोटल ने ये कहा ये तो आपको एक बार में समझ में भी आएगा कि व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट कास्ट थीरीज व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ रिलीजन इन पॉलिटिक्स व्हाट इज क्रिमिनलाइजेशन ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स कितने सिंपल सिंपल चीजें ये तो आपको अच्छे से समझ में आने वाली है शिफ्ट यूर फोकस हेयर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्कोर समवेयर आई वुड से वन अराउंड नहीं तो आइडियल मार्क्स आपके वन ट्वेंटी बन के रह जाएंगे इफ यू सिफ्ट लिटिल बिट फोकस ऑन हेयर 150 आप बहुत आराम से पहुंच जाने वाले हैं। अब मैं इस पार्ट पे आ रहा हूं जो कि जिसके बारे में मिथ है ये गलती करते हैं बहुत सारे लोग दे अंडरस्टैंड द एंटायर पॉलिटिकल साइंस जस्ट लाइक पेपर वन वेस्टर्न पॉलिटिकल थॉट ये ये सबसे बड़ी गलती है और ये मिथ है वेन वीट कम टू वेस्टर्न पोलिटिकल थॉट this is one part of political science and i would suggest that please check last year question paper yahan se keval ek sawal aaya hai aur pucha hi nahi hai kuch western political thoughts dusra part hota hai indian political theory part and the third is basically sorry Indian political thought part and here is political theory if you check last year question paper maximum question is focused on political theory to hoga kya those who have written it understood it well their score is going to be very high and let me tell you in a very general sense in all these three sections the maximum scoring section is of political theory if seriously you want to score very high so given a choice one question on plato and one question on justice or one question on equality and one question on aristotle go for question on equality justice power you have more chance to score in comparison to इसमें दिक्कत क्या है कि वी स्टडी इन अ वेरी लिमिटेड वे वी नो क्योंकि दिस इज व्हाट प्लेटो हैज सेट यू हार्डली नो फाइव टू सिक्स नेम्स हु एनालाइज एंड वो स्कॉलर का नाम आप कमेंट्री के फॉर्मेट में जानते हो बट यू नो द हिस्ट्री ऑफ पॉलिटिकल साइंस इज द हिस्ट्री ऑफ वेस्टर्न पोलिटिकल थॉट तो हमको उसमें क्यों जाना है जो समंदर है टेक्निकली सो so, one thinker has written two book completely on one thinker i mean like on plato and aristotle so what you can know know much about that thoda portion jaan sakte hain ki bhai plato ne justice ke bare mein ye bola uski theory aristotle ki theory ye thi lekin us pe jitni analysis hai it's it's, it's something like ki aap 
पूरी हिस्ट्री 2000 साल की जो पॉलिटिकल साइंस की हिस्ट्री है वो इसी की हिस्ट्री है तो ऐसी जगह पे जाने की आप कोशिश कर रहे हैं जिसमें जरा सा उसने ट्विस्ट किया यू वोट बी एबल मैं छोटा सा एग्जाम्पल दे रहा हूं आई गेस बहुत लोग जानते हैं या नहीं कि आई डिड माई मास्टर्स एम फिल एंड पी एच डी फ्रॉम जे एन यू जवाहरलाल नेहरू यूनिवर्सिटी मेरे मास्टर्स के कोर्स में जस्टिस पे छ महीने का कोर्स था और केवल रोल्स के जस्टिस पे छ महीने का पूरा एक सेमेस्टर का कोर्स था सो so, आप इमेजिन करो कि कितनी डेफनेस होती है यूपीएससी में हमको नहीं चाहिए उतनी लेकिन इफ दे आर विलिंग टू आस्क लास्ट टाइम उन्होंने क्या किया जस्टिस को अंबेडकर के साथ जोड़ करके एक सवाल पूछ दिया प्लीज चेक द लास्ट ईयर क्वेश्चन पेपर नहीं बनना है वाला वो हर स्टूडेंट को लगा कि यार ये कैसे ट्राई करें हम तो पढ़े अंबेडकर अलग पढ़े हैं और रोल्स अलग पढ़े हैं <laughs> दोनों को जोड़ें कैसे मेरा कहने का सिंपल मतलब यही है कि इफ यूपीएससी वॉन्ट टू ट्विस्ट वी कॉन्ट टच दैट तो सेफ साइड क्या है ये है दैट इज अगेन लिमिटेड आइडिया ऑफ लिबर्टी लिबरल आइडिया ऑफ लिबर्टी इवन पॉजिटिव लिबर्टी नेगेटिव लिबर्टी द मीनिंग ऑफ लिबर्टी फ्रॉम द प्रस्पेक्टिव ऑफ वेरियस आइडियोलॉजीज चार पांच डेफिनेशन खत्म द सेम थिंग कम विद द जस्टिस बट वेन इट कम टू द थिंकर्स और देयर लैंग्वेज इज रिटिल विथ आई एम नॉट सेइंग की विल इग्नोर दिस टॉपिक बट आई एम सींग इन योर प्रिपरेशन don't spend maximum of your energy only here only here this is something wrong i am talking about strategize karna humko teen question karne hai yahan se we have to attempt three questions so we'll go with this hamara target area rahega ye dusre number pe rahega aur ye teesre number pe rahega you'll be able to do it and simple Please go through last three, four years of question paper. You'll always find questions related to political theory. But normally, students go for this Western political thought. Who Plato pe, Hobbes pe, Aristotle pe, zarur attempt karenge. But again, I would say that is not a worse one, but that is a risky one. That is a risky one. If you'll be more focused on political theory part, you'll be easy. I mean, question agar pick karna ho. so your score will be relatively high now one more important part this area has to be covered but question on western political thinker and using the western political thinker in a political theory will help you to score more when i am talking about liberty and i am referring to john rawls sorry i am referring to john lock and there could be a separate question on john lock john lock as a thinker so if you refer john lock as a thinker in your liberty question you have a high probability to score kyunki yahan aapko keval ek reference dena hoga char se panch line likhni hogi lekin jab aapko john rawls pe likhna hoga to aapko zyada likhna hoga and it is going to be in depth analysis to aisa to possible nahi hai ki without studying western political thought you will be able to understand political theory we are going to study this also but maximum utilization of these thinkers will be for the political theory part basically aur ye to sabse limited part hai iske do part hain ancient ancient mein le de ke kautilya dharma shastra and buddhism har ek har saal ek sawal hai yahan se teen chhota chhota part but the line is how you prepare in depth preparation is required and even here the numbers of thinkers are very less again i'm saying please check papers you always get one question from this part my point is if you go with the balance preparation for all these three parts of paper 1 when we say balance preparation so maybe it take this much time but it should be not less than this it should not be less than this ab ye plus minus 5% ho sakta hai but it is not advisable 80% to the western political thought this is not advisable because it is not going to work the those i mean when you check out those who have written mains and 
what their score in political science you aapko do segment milega there is a maximum people lying around 220 210 230 and those who are interview are appearing for interview are into the services their score is 280 300 and the major difference is not difference of their knowledge the way they strategize it the way they have given importance and weightage to the different system different sections they know where to be more focus where to be less focus and utilize this part how utilize this part in other part of your studies so this is how one can score good i mean i would say you know to understand all these things when you start studying gradually you learn more about it just this is a brief way to understand you should be balanced ek line mein agar main isko kahu so this is balanced way of preparation of political science you should always remember you are studying it to be into the service your prime purpose is to score uske baad padh lena jo section acha lagta hai lekin that is what the prime purpose and there is a limitation of the time 6 mahine bahut kheech liye to 7 mahine kheech liye otherwise अगले सेगमेंट में मतलब अगले साल की तैयारी में चले जाओगे सो अंडरस्टैंड सो दोज हू प्रिपेयर दे नो इट ये छह महीना है ये सेवन मंथ्स है देन दे डिवाइड एवरी पार्ट दे चूज देयर कोर एरिया स्ट्रेंथ एरिया दे स्ट्रेटेजाइज इट एंड नाउ दे गो एंड डिलीवर दिस इज हाउ थिंग्स गो ऑन बेसिकली दिस इज नॉट दोज हू आर विदाउट प्लान दे अटेम्प्ट द क्वेश्चन एक्सटेम्पोर वो पेपर देख के तय करते हैं कि हमको क्या करना है if you are well organized well planned so you will be able to identify the area where i am going to question where i am going to attempt to more or less paper dekhne ke baad ek aadh question upar niche hota hai so those who are qualifying this examination so they are every time qualifying bhale wo service ki apni ladai lad rahe hain ias chahiye ips chahiye irs chahiye har baar kar rahe hain and the reason is they strategize it. लेकिन आप भीड़ की तरह जाएंगे स्ट्रेटेजाइज नहीं करेंगे प्री प्लान नहीं करेंगे तो वो ये बात आपको समझ में आएगी लेकिन तब तक तीन साल गुजर चुके होंगे सो माई सजेशन इज दैट स्टार्ट डूइंग इट फ्रॉम राइट अवे देर इज अ हाई चांस दैट विल बी एबल टू स्कोर फाइन गाइज आई एम डन फ्रॉम माई पार्ट प्लीज आस्क योर क्वेश्चन now there is a two question a student has asked question number 1 basically ki how we can understand we can study this subject or not whether i am compatible with the subject or not i would simply say if you have taken this subject in your graduation then by their own you can decide it if you you done engineering bsc or anything else not political science now to decide whether i should go for political science or not now this is the key i would say this there is a three important factor to take a decision first important factor you should be able to understand are familiar with the terms what we use basically okay let's let me understand compare it with another word normally we think that we'll get a subject whom we are going to like i can bet for this no one like the entire syllabus normally people like some part of the syllabus and they'll be able to correlate it basically even those who have taken political science so even they do not like or they are not able to connect much with the certain part of the subject maybe three fourth part they will be able so this is technically not possible that every in each word mentioned in your syllabus you'll be able to connect with it or you'll be able to understand it just i'm giving one example do you think that the all section of the journal studies you are liking every in each part of the journal studies every in each concept of the journal studies then there are certain areas you, you you find more comfortable there are certain area you can you can find less comfortable so your choice must involve your connectivity and understanding with the subject it 
cannot be developed through studying a book. It can be understand just looking last year question and general understanding, with the general understanding. And specifically I would say, go with the international relations part, go with the uh, Indian government part, then you automatically come to know that this is your cup of tea or not. This is one thing. Second important thing, as you said, it has a long syllabus. Personally, I believe it seems to be long syllabus in UPSC way, but technically it is not. In my previous videos, I explained it. I'm repeating it again just in, in some short span of time. The way slavers is organized, there is a lot of repetition in the slavers. That is why it seems too long. I give an example. Like in your slavers, there is a topic of political, Western political thinkers. In Western political thinkers, there is a Karl Marx, Gramsci. These two thinkers are in your syllabus. They have a alag topic hai ideologies. Yaha par hai Marxism. Ek alag topic hai concept of state. Isme pucha gaya hai Marxist concept are notion of state notion of state now if I say Marxism how Marxism is different what Karl Marx has said what Gramsci has said what I do in my class I go with one more thinker Lenin I add also sometimes Mao after studying this what is Marxism and what Karl Marx and Angel said how state came to being what is the function of the state it will be there and that has been given in three separate topic if you reorganize your syllabus the way I teach let me tell you I don't go with the topic wise so if I'm starting with the liberalism so liberalism aapko political theory may be hai and Liberalism starts with the basic ideas of the Hobbes. It get completely culminated, become mature in the ideas of the Locke. Then Bentham and J.S. Mill. If you are four thinkers, then liberalism as the ideology automatically will be easy. So what we do, all the topics related are connected with each other. We put it in a line and then you prepare. Then you will find out it is not that lengthy the way we think of. Dikkat kya hoti hai ki when you study all western political thinkers first then you start political theory. But I would say that the moment you have completed Thomas Hobbes and Locke either before study liberalism or after that study liberalism study liberalism, modern liberalism, neoliberalism then go for the Bentham after classical liberalism go for the Bentham and J.S. Mill. So automatically these three things are connected with each other. So you will automatically know what is role of the state, what is liberal idea of the liberty, what they think of the equality. It is all about organizing a slavers in such a way that the connected topic which come in the flow should be completed in a one way. That is why I complete the slavers in five to six months. And every and each topic is interrelated. The moment you have classic liberalism, normally I have classic liberalism, then I say because of the negative impact of the classical liberalism, there was a debate going on or there was an ideology emerging that was Marxism and there are people who are asking for reform or change in the classical liberalism itself. So what happened? Modern liberalism come as a reform and as an alternative ideology Marxism was parallelly emerging. So sequence banta hai. Got my point? So this is not something like it is very bulky. 
इट इज ऑल अबाउट हाउ यू ऑर्गेनाइज द सिलेबस इसी तरह जो आई आर वाला पार्ट है इफ यू सी पेपर वन पेपर वन में टॉपिक नंबर सिक्स जो है वो पूरा अप्लाइड है जैसे दे टॉक अबाउट वर्ड ऑर्डर दे टॉक अबाउट डिस इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ रशिया दे टॉक अबाउट नैम जैसे नैम का टॉपिक है सेक्शन ए में भी है और सेक्शन बी में भी है दो जगह क्यों पढ़ना है वाई नॉट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इट वन सो इफ यू री ऑर्गेनाइज द सिलेबस सिलेबस टेक्निकली गेट रिड्यूज इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रिपरेशन अराउंड थर्टी थर्टी फाइव परसेंट एंड लेट मी टेल यू सिलेबस में जो टॉपिक नहीं है कम से कम आठ टॉपिक में एक्स्ट्रा पढ़ाता हूं उसमें जस्ट टू गिव अ प्रॉपर सीक्वेंसिंग टू इट कि वो सीख और यूपीएससी ने कुछ टॉपिक जो नहीं भी है वो भी पूछ लिया हुआ है सो दिस वे गिव यू अ कंप्रहेंसिव स्टडी यूपीएससी ने अगर पहला टॉपिक कोई पढ़ने लगे वॉट इज पोलिटिकल थियरी इन स्कोप ऑफ पोलिटिकल साइंस तो उसके इंटरेस्ट तो नहीं आने वाला है पक्का एंड नो बडी टीच इज लाइक दिस बेसिकली यस can you please repeat and be little loud okay this is very good question that resources for the political science i will simply suggest two thing if you have studied it in your graduation then there is a those who are having the same subject in their graduation they have this option repeat books what you have studied earlier plus i suggest go for my notes which is available in next is for update i release a psir magazine go for that magazine go for that magazine इट विल वर्क इसके अलावा भी अगर आपको पढ़ना है तो आई वुड सजेस्ट दैट इफ यू इफ है ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड इट देन यू कैन गो ऑन अ लिटिल बिट ऑन एडवांस लेवल बुक यू कैन गो फॉर से फाली झा बुक आर यू कैन गो फॉर इग्नू नोट्स दैट विल वर्क बट प्लीज डोंट गो बियॉन्ड दिस इससे अदा की जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी एंड दोज हुट स्टार्टेड पोलिटिकल साइंस टिल then for them my suggestion is go with the notes plus op goaba book why i am suggesting suggesting for those who are not having background this op goaba because of the language it has been written in a very simple and easy language and sefali jha book is on the little bit on advanced level those who have background they'll be able to understand their logic but op goba book is easier to understand combine this iske baad bhi agar aapko lagta hai ki aur energy time motivation bacha hua hai go with the igno booklet teesre chauthe source ki zarurat nahi hoti hai i mean if you try to go for more 70 to 80 percent things you are going to be repeat basically koi alag nahi hota hai matlab if you go with some other book you are not going find something very different for there so this is more than enough this is more than enough less material more chance to qualify normally i say the challenge what a student face in any optional that can be addressed with a strategy of three three words read properly dekhi reading or understanding bahut zaruri hoti hai political science jinko ye lagta hai ki hum rat ke kar lenge i would suggest ki you should think of your decision to take this subject because ye rat ke nahi hota hai this required understanding main bar bar keh raha hu pichle saal ka paper dekhiye sab jo log rat ke kabhi kabhi kar lete the ab wo bahar hain last year question paper is purely based on understanding and it is not about psir every year upsc is moving towards understanding base how you understand it so this is the first important thing one should understand ki bhai subject ki understanding that is why i see i say read second is retention what you have read you need to retain it 
for this purpose you have to revise it and the third is writing read retention and writing that is what practice is equally important why practice is a challenge the reason being is that ki when you look for the material to aap maximum material ikattha kar lena chahte ho aur ek sawal ka answer maximum likhna hoga to 300 words mein likhna hoga aur ek topic pe kuch nahi to 50 page 100 page ho gaya kaise likhoge 300 that is why practice our writing is equally important again this is a mistake i am saying if someone think ki i have a notes i'll read it and i'll spit it time gaya ho matlab 10 saal pehle tha abhi aisa kuch nahi hai now you have to read properly you have to understand properly then you have to retain it also and then you have to write it also writing is a equally important part of your preparation dekhiye writing ka matlab ye nahi hota ki aap likhte ja rahe ho aap likhte ja rahe ho aap likhte ja rahe ho writing ka matlab hota hai aap likh rahe ho teacher se consult kar rahe ho baat kar rahe ho feedback mil raha hai aur if someone is thinking of this ki in my first write in my first writing the day i write i'll be able to write a perfect answer मैं खूब पढ़ लूंगा और एक दिन परफेक्ट आंसर लिख लूंगा तो ऐसा नहीं होता है प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड रीडिंग एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड राइटिंग इट इज टू डिफरेंट आर्ट सो रीडिंग एंड राइटिंग यू हैव टू गिव लॉट ऑफ रीडिंग यू हैव टू गिव लॉट ऑफ टाइम फॉर राइटिंग यू हैव टू गिव लॉट ऑफ टाइम सो प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दिस वन फ्यू पीपल हैव दिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग आई रेड एवरी थिंग सो आई बी एबल टू राइट एवरी थिंग दिस इज नॉट नेसेसरी यू नीड टू प्रैक्टिस equally agar main divide karu point wise write ret, uh, this this read retention and writing mein to writing bhi 30% rakhta hai aur aapka jo reading hai definitely wo 40 45% ka weightage rakhta hai lekin bina writing ke kaam nahi ho payega this is another major mistake student do wo they plan it like this ki ek bar hum optional kar lenge fir uske baad hum test series se likhenge to itna gap ho jata hai That is again एक तरह से फिर से आपको पूरा ऑप्शनल रिवाइज करना पड़ता है बेस्ट आइडिया इज ऑलवेज वेन यू आर स्टार्टिंग ट्राई टू राइट एट दैट टाइम उसमें भी स्ट्रेटेजाइज हम कर सकते हैं कि भाई इफ यू आर गुड एट द थिंकर इफ यू आर गुड एट द पोलिटिकल थीरी यूल बी एबल टू राइट तो उसमें अगर आप बहुत रेगुलर टाइम नहीं निकाल पा रहे हैं तो कहां कहां फोकस करें किस किस एरिया पे फोकस करें वहां गलती नहीं होनी चाहिए दैट इज वॉट द मेजर एरिया फाइन got the answer anyone else is willing to ask as i said that first you have to reduce your time of your uh, your optional subject so technically if along with the gs if you go for the optional so because you have to appear in next may technically so in your focus you can shift your focus to optional for general studies even if you get less time in comparison to the optional it will work because after 6 month your optional will be over you will get enough time for the gs basically so that is what the focus timing i was talking about major problem is this ki if the optional and gs take the same timing then it is not possible if optional is taking 8 month 9 month and gs is also taking then 2025 24 is not possible if you're looking for 24 then properly going more than 6 month for your optional just reading is a bad strategy you are pushing you are compromising with the general studies part so here when your optional is going to be more focus on your optional part main usme bhi kuch kuch cheeze suggest kar sakta hu jaise ki when you are studying western political thought part there will be more focus required for that when you are studying igp part you can reduce the time your optional and give more time to the gs kyunki wo dono easy hai wale part ko samajhna basically when you are going for ir theory part more concentration and more time is required jaise aap bilateral pe hain class se jaake ek ghanta bhi revise karenge you will be on track so this combination is very much important dekhi matlab to be honest more than 5 lakh 
candidates appear for this examination. Lot of students are good. They are really good. Good in the sense, they are hardworking, highly motivated, but still they are not able to make it. One of the reason is that about their strategy. The competition is not only about your knowledge. Strategy is equally important. How you manage your entire one year. Now here we are entering into May. You have entire one year for the preparation. How you prepare for the next one year? That is going to be the key. Pande wale sabhi hai. Matlab, those who have decided to go for civil services, they know the repercussions of it. And as per our understanding and knowledge, lot of people from all good university, they having very good background of their schooling and they are very hard working, they are motivated. Even the average people with the, you know, uh, uh, high motivation, they are into the field. So knowledge ka competition bohat difference nahi create karta hai. Aisa nahi hota, mein hamesha ye baat kehta hoon. Those who are into the services and those who are appearing for the interview. उनके नॉलेज में कोई फर्क नहीं होता कभी कभी तो जो इंटरव्यू में नहीं हो पाता है उसका भी नॉलेज ज्यादा होता है जो उस तरफ चला जाता है इत, इतना फर्क नहीं हो दो इवन दो राइटिंग मेन्स दे आर इक्वली गुड द ओनली डिफरेंस इज द वे दे प्लान दे स्ट्रेटेजाइज और वो प्रैक्टिस वाले पार्ट पे कितना काम अच्छे से कर ले जाते हैं दैट मेक देम टू बी एन नॉलेज वाला पार्ट एक्सपोज्ड है पीपल जान लोग जानते हैं और उतना सब कर लेते हैं लेकिन टाइम मैनेजमेंट आप पूछिए इस समय जितने लोग प्रॉब्लम्स दे रहे हैं उनके ऑप्शनल्स की क्या हालत है किसी भी ऑप्शनल में कितना पढ़ लिया है क्या प्रैक्टिस कर लिया है क्या एक बार कंप्लीट किया है कुछ याद है नहीं है तब आपको समझ में आएगा कि स्ट्रेटेजिक मिस्टेक्स कहाँ कहाँ हैं कि इवन इफ यू क्वालिफाई फॉर द प्रॉब्लम्स देन वट इज गोइंग टू बी हैपन देन यूल रियलाइज कि यार ये ये दिक्कतें हैं बेसिकली गॉट माई पॉइंट Yes. Look, you can go for both. You can start with optional as well as GS. Why I am saying this part? Why I am saying this part? Because you have the entire twelve months. Six month you finish your general studies so, uh, or your optional part, and then you will be more focused for the GS part. Because if you think to start optional late, for example, but the GS will continue for the next ten, test ten months. You cannot take risk. This you can't think that I'll join GS in September. This is technically not possible. You have to start your GS max by June. That is what the option you have. Now just think of that. This GS is going to take ten months. And if you decide that okay, I'll join optional in October or in September. then you are going to be less time for your prelims preparation so because yahi aapke paas this 12 month everyone is having so the best idea is to go with simultaneously those who are thinking of 2024 and looking for gs and optional both that is the right time as early as you finish your optional subject you get more time for the gs part those who have already done their jan studies looking for the optional part then my suggestion is that they should also finish their uh, uh, optional as soon as possible and focus more on the writing part basically so now they'll be little bit advanced in their studies like they can think of okay i'll go for more practice basically fine okay guys i have some online question when will be the batch commence it is going to be on 15th may and on 15th june also we are going to have another batch uh, should a student prepare basic gs before starting psir as an optional i would say no for psir if suppose any want to prepare anyone is willing to study something my suggestion is that study little bit world history study little bit modern history rest of the things are not required why because in uh, example or in references if suppose somebody is teaching and give the example of cuban missile crisis so you should be knowing little bit world history that help you a lot ye ye 
थोड़ा आपको मदद करेगा पॉलिटिकल साइंस फॉर द पोलिटिकल फॉर वेस्टर्न पोलिटिकल थॉट डोंट स्टडी एन एथिंग इफ यू आर प्लानिंग फॉर द क्लास डोंट स्टडी एन एथिंग अदरवाइज देर विल बी डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम डेफिनेटली आई मीन समबडी आज दिस की विथ नॉट आई मीन विथ सम अदर बैकग्राउंड वन कैन टेक पोलिटिकल साइंस आई वुड से येस द नेम्स वॉट आई हैव टेकन लाइक रिसर्व मंडल हूँ स्कोर थ्री ट्वेंटी फाइव दे ऑल वेर इंजीनियर्स आई मीन दोज हु आर स्कोरिंग मैक्सिमम इन दिस सब्जेक्ट इन लास्ट फाइव सेवन ईयर्स दे वेर ऑफ विदाउट पोलिटिकल साइंस बैकग्राउंड एंड दैट इज ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड ग्राफ्ट आई वुड से डेफिनेटली वन शुड गो फॉर दैट द क्लासेज विल बी इन इंग्लिश मीडियम ओनली a uh, batch duration is going to be max 6 month otherwise normally i finish in 5 and 5 and a half months there was one question difference between offline and online same offline classes get relay to uh, online students so there is not much difference okay one more thing uh normally in my class normally in my class classes are going to be in lecture format that is core of my course is any hoga ki after 5 minutes i'll make you write there will be lecture explanation through diagrams and charts and then i'll make you write usko main hamesha kehta hu that is going to be your micro notes this is how i teach so micro notes micro notes you'll get all the keywords you'll get all the key concept in a fluence and and connecting manner for a topic so these micro notes are enough to write your answer if you studied in in well in class this is not 1200 page note this is going to be hardly 6 to 700 maximum in all four booklets or four topics basically so you can flip it basically easy and if somebody is interested ki mai अगर मान लो कहीं कुछ दिक्कत फील कर रहे हैं सो देर इज अ प्रिंटेड नोट्स आई ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड दिस प्रिंटेड नोट्स इन दिस प्रिंटेड नोट्स देर आर टोटल फाइव बुकलेट्स आर देयर एंड देर इज अ वेरी एक्सटेंसिव कवरेज ऑफ द सब एक्सटेंसिव कवरेज आई एम सेइंग सो देर आर मेनी टॉपिक्स व्हिच इज नॉट मेंशन इन द सिलेबस ऑल्सो बट i have given it over there the reason being is that that come in the sequence jaise syllabus mein aapke rosa luxembourg nahi hai mao nahi hai lenin nahi hai lekin aap paper dekho ki lenin pe sawal puch liya hai isi bar mao par ek sawal puch liya hai so and they are not mentioned in your syllabus to maine booklet mein usko extensively diya hua wo class mein bhi main reference format mein usko padhata hu so this is going to be more than enough तीसरी किसी चीज को की जरूरत नहीं है बट आई वॉन्ट टू मेक इट क्लियर इन माई क्लास दिस इज प्राइमरी दिस इज प्राइमरी इट इज मोर इन अ लेक्चर फॉर्मेट दैट इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी आई प्रिफर यू शुड बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट बिकॉज द वे दे आर आस्किंग क्वेश्चन पिछले साल का क्वेश्चन पेपर उठाइए एज आई सेट दैट वेन दे आस्क कंपेयरिंग रॉल्स एंड डॉक्टर अम्बेडकर वो लिख कर नहीं होगा वो आपको केवल पढ़ करके समझ करके ही होगा फाइन एक दो क्वेश्चन और हैं आई गेस लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स स्टूडेंट्स हैव आस्क अबाउट अ स्ट्रैटेजी सो आई मेक मोर वीडियोज ऑन द स्ट्रैटेजीज एंड टेकिंग द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सेक्शंस राइटिंग इज इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट सो विदाउट राइटिंग वन कैन नॉट इफ यू आर गुड इन टर्म्स ऑफ लैंग्वेज तो थोड़ा आपके लिए आसान हो जाता है 
और नहीं भी है तो प्रैक्टिस से वो आ जाता है ठीक है थैंक यू थैंक यू टू ऑल ऑफ यू